No, I don't. I live my life through him. And I let him live his life through me. There's a big difference there. Because if you're trying to live your life for Jesus, you're going to have ups and downs. Disappointments. You're up on the mountain. You're up in the valley. You're, you're just everywhere. And then people look at you and go, man, you, you call yourself a Christian? Look at the way that you are. It's because you lost your identity. He has given us so much and we have done nothing really with it. We, we speak a lot. We preach a lot. But that's all there is. If you look at the early church in the book of Acts, and the word Acts, the book of Acts means action. Put some action behind your words. I encounter people all the time, people that don't even believe in Jesus. But after they get the miracle, now they're receiving Him. People are tired of us just talking about Jesus. Jesus wants us to demonstrate His love and His goodness to them. So I don't walk up to people and say, hey man, Jesus loves you. I don't do that. I ask them, what do you need? What do you got? It'll get done today. You'll be healed today. You won't have it today anymore. Say goodbye to it. And some of them say goodbye. And I tell them, this is your last day of having it. And then, boom, it's gone. And now they're freaking out. They're going, what the... The reactions that I get from the people, it, it just amazes me. The unbelief that's in them. But the Lord spoke to me about the body of Christ that's on this island. And I want to say something. We have done things so long that's been wrong because it hasn't really brought the results that it should be bringing. We got a lot of problems out here. Drug addiction, crime. There's no power. I'm not coming to you to preach the Word of God. I'm going to demonstrate the power of God that lives inside of me. And i got some good news for you. He lives in you too. Every single one of you guys that knows Him. Amen. And you can do this. I'm encouraging you. You can do this. He says in His Word, As my Father has sent me, I now send you. Now you go. But what we've done is that we've added a lot of things to that scripture, but, you know, the word also says this, and the word says that, you know. So what do we do? We end up talking our way out of it, and we don't do anything. The Lord has dealt with me in a lot of areas in my life. Things that I used to have passion for, I don't have those anymore. I've been so captivated by His love towards me that everything that's external all around me, I'm not interested. I'm only interested in the eternal things and what God is doing through me and for me and on me. And it's on the benefit of everybody that I have contact with. So I'm just here to encourage you guys to wake up and start doing this too. You can do it. You gotta have determination, you gotta have reckless abandonment, and you gotta walk in love. You know, I was out of my vehicle one day and I was delivering the mail and I sat there and the Lord removed the veil that was in front of my eyes. You know, we have veils, we don't see everything. But God begins to take those layers away and we start to see things a little more clearly. Well, he took this veil away. And I'm seeing all these college students walking around as I delivered by CSUN College. And I began to see for the first time all these people walking around with all disorders for the first time because now I'm looking at them with my kingdom eyes instead of my natural eyes. And then the Lord came upon me and I began to weep. And I said, they're everywhere. The enemy has got people strongholds, bondages, sickness, disease, disorders, pain. I said, they're everywhere. And I'm looking, and I go, oh my God, 